Good morning. Good morning. If you should hear a little bell ringing, that's angels getting their wings. Also, the dog wants to go outside, and his timing was off today. So, um, we're going to begin with Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us. It's number 711. And I picked it because of the third verse, the, the end of the third verse. Uh, let us turn to you. Early let us turn to you. We'll talk about that later. <clears throat> Savior, like a shepherd, lead us, much we need your tender care. In your pleasant pastures, feed us, for our ears your fold prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. Blessed Jesus. Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. We are yours in love, befriend us, be the guardian of our way. Keep your flock from sin, defend us, seek us when we go astray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear us children when we pray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear us children when we pray. You have promised to receive. Son of man, say to the house of Israel, Thus have you said. Surely our transgressions and our sins are upon us, and we rot away because of them. How then can we live? Say to them, As I live, declares the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back. Turn back from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? And you, son of man, say to your people, the righteousness of our righteous, I'm sorry, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him when he transgresses. And as for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall by it when he turns from his wickedness. And the righteous shall not be able to live by his righteousness when he sins. Though I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, yet if he trusts in his righteousness and does injustice, none of his righteous deeds shall be remembered. 
but in his injustice that he has done, he shall die. Again, though I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, yet if he turns from his sin and does what is just and right, if the wicked restores the pledge, gives back what he has taken by robbery, and walks in the statutes of life, not doing injustice, he mm. shall surely live. He shall not die. None of the sins that he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done what is just and right. He shall surely live. Yet, your people say, the way of the Lord is not just when it is their own way that is not just. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and does injustice, he shall die for it. And when the wicked turns from his wickedness and does what is just and right, he shall live by this. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not just. O house of Israel, I will judge each of you according to his ways. If you, uh, if you look up on Facebook, Chad Bird, and go to his page, <clears throat> go back a couple of days, he is a, he's a former pastor, uh, expert in Hebrew, and, and he has some really excellent stuff that, that, that he does on, online. He works for 1517.org now. Um, he did, he did an article, a little, I don't know if it's a podcast or, I don't know, I read it, I didn't listen to it, I read it, um, on the word shuv, the Hebrew word shuv, which is translated repentance, or repent, um, it's translated a bunch of different ways, but the root meaning of it is turn, to turn. To, to return, to turn back, to change, to reform, to but but to turn, and it is a really important word in the Old Testament, uh, used over and over again. It's used three times in the first paragraph here. Uh, but that the, I take no pleasure pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back. It sounds. Anxious, it sounds, it sounds desperate, doesn't it? Turn back. Yeah, it's, remember, we used to have that flight simulator program, and and uh, uh, I was not very good at it. <laughs> Karen would mock it for all of a sudden you hear it saying, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> you get this little alert going, pull up, pull up. Uh, that's that sense of you are about to crash into a mountain. You are about to plow into the ground. You are about you are about to come to a catastrophe. Turn, turn here, turn here now. Return, turn back. God desires us to turn. So the Israelites had come to this idea first that they couldn't be forgiven, that they'd gone too far. And, and Ezekiel will will uh, address this. Uh, um, at least once more, in, in very dramatic fashion. But uh, if a person is righteous and then they mess up, then they're lost, right? If a person messes up, then they can never, even if they become, even if they become righteous, then they can never, they, you know, they're out of luck. And, and he says, no. And they think God is unfair, that he's judging them too harshly. God only desires that they turn back to him. It isn't that they have to get everything right. It's that they that they turn to him, that in him they find their salvation, in him they find refuge, in him they find forgiveness. Turn, he says. Some of the Psalms reflect this same spirit. David, in Psalm 32, particularly, when I, when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. Day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you. I did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, 
and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. I've always loved the order of that. Then he says, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And before it's done, before he has time to do it, God forgave the iniquity of his sin. God washed away his guilt. As soon as his heart turned to the Lord, his guilt was gone. God says to these people that, that he's been beating up with, with the law for 33 chapters uh, and, and pointing out to them, look what you did to this nation that I gave to you. And here's what's going to happen. Uh, and here you are in Babylon. But turn. Turn to me. Come home. This is the little voice that says to the prodigal son in a far country, well, in my father's house, the servants have more than enough to eat. I'll go back, even just as a servant. And the father is waiting for him to turn. He is always waiting for you. Whatever, wherever, if ever you have turned away, he is, he is calling you to turn back and find his love. His mercy, his forgiveness can be washed clean. This, this is a wonderful word after all of the, after all of the, uh, the grief so far in Ezekiel. This is a turning point in God's word. Heavenly Father, let today be a turning point once again in our lives. Every day, Lord, let there be a turning point as we see once again the, uh, the glory of your gospel, the wonderful news, the good news of your love for us, and how you have fulfilled at, at great effort over centuries and millennia that you worked all things to bring about the miracle of your incarnation, your Son taking upon himself our flesh and our sin and going to the cross for us. O oh, Father, forgive us our sin. Turn our hearts always to you. Create in us a clean heart, O oh Lord, and renew a right spirit within us. In Jesus' forgiving, powerful name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen.